again and welcome to another video. This time we are working with the Synology DS212 NAS box and what we intend to do is see about breaking the internal RAID that's been cut, that's been set up on this device. We've got two uh, three terabyte Western digital hard drives in this and what I intend to do is show you how the drives are operating in this particular unit but also what happens when one of the drives fails and just to see if the unit will actually recover okay and if things will just carry on as normal while one of the drives is actually faulty. So drives just started up and let's see about cutting across now and we'll go through some of the settings, show you the capacity, how much data is on it and then from there we'll take you through breaking the array and then watching what's happening. Okay, so let's log into the device. We're up there in the storage manager. Just to give you an idea of the drives we've got in it, and we do actually have data on the drives as well. So I'm over a terabyte of data already on that. Uh, if we go to File Station, in here I've got a folder for downloads, uploads. Um, there's Mac specific data, robotics for video camera and security stuff music, photographs, time machine backups are also running across onto that and the Windows systems here and servers they're linking into this as well so it's really getting hammered day in day out and so far it's actually been working really really well so we have all of this here this is telling us that the status is normal you're seeing there read one data protection's on so Everything's up, everything's running, everything's fine. So now what we need to try and do is induce a fault and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's take the front panel off. And as you can see, we've got drive one, drive two. So what we'll now do is pull down, push up, take the drive out. And there's the drive. So that's out, and oops, there's the alarm going off. Now, as you can see on the screen here, straight away it knows that it's degraded. You can see we've also went down to one drive. System events have come up, and you'll also notice on the left hand side there as well, I've got Skype running, and this device can actually link in a number of ways of reporting problems, and one of them is Skype. And as you can see straight away, it's telling me exactly what's happening. I can quickly go and check. Yep, there's only one drive there. What we can do is we can keep the beep from going by turning it off. And that's really it. So now let's just see, we've lost a drive. And we've got full access to the folders. So it's showing you there that it's still working. So in a business environment, one drive dies, we don't really care. Um, that seems to be okay. So what we now have to do is see how it's going to recover from this. We would work on the basis that this is a new drive and we're going to go and put that in. So let's do that and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's see about putting the drive back in. And that's it locked back in place. Green light comes on there. That's the drive starting to power up. And if you notice on the screen, we've still only got one drive showing. Now, by putting the drive in, it's not going to automatically bring the other drive up and start synchronizing. What you're going to have to do you can see that it is actually there but what we are going to have to do is hit the manage button and you can see there repair so what we'll now do is tick that through it so there you go so we're assuming that it's a brand new drive so it would do that anyway so we would say yes I want to erase it and apply that And there we go. So straight away, it's now starting to repair. So it's synchronizing from the first drive across to the second drive. And there we go. So now it's going to start checking the consistency. 
Now, I would have to say that with over a terabyte of data on that drive, and it's going to basically scan the whole drive, so just under three terabytes, I would think this is going to take quite a while to actually do. Okay, that's the parity check now completed. That's us at 100%. And as you can see, that is 1543. And we'd started that yesterday at just after six o'clock in the evening. So it's taken quite some time. I did reckon it would take a, a full day. Um, I was pretty accurate on that. And as you can see, everything's sitting there as normal and everything seems to be okay. Final status there's popped up, repairing, checking parity consistency. So this must be the final stage of it. And I would expect then to see the status saying everything's okay in a matter of seconds. So we'll just wait and see how long that takes. And there we go. So everything's running normal and I've been using the unit since I actually went and did that uh, drive removal yesterday. So everything's been absolutely fine. So there you go. Um, everything's running fine. It's proving that the NAS unit is actually doing what it says it will do. Protect your data. We're running the RAID array. So we'll test some other things out at a later date. But for the moment we can relax a little bit. Knowing that everything's actually fully operational. Thanks for watching. And uh, watch out for the next review. Thanks.